Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When, in his own image, God created man, he included freedom in creation's plan. For he loved us even from before our birth. By his grace he made us free men of this earth. God to man entrusted life as gift and aim. Sin became our prison, turning hope to shame. Man against his brother lifted hand and sword, and the father's pleading went unseen, unheard. Then in time our maker chose to intervene set his love in person in the human scene. Jesus broke the circle of repeated sin so that man's devotion newly might begin. Choose we now in freedom where we should belong. Let us turn to Jesus. Let our choice be strong. May the great obedience which in Christ we see perfect all our service. Then we shall be free. Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great. That our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, and in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of our land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms for him, for he is merciful. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice to his people and for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, your name and your memory last forever. We stand to pray and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you in your kindness to have mercy on us in our lowliness. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms for him, for he is merciful. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor, or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. A reading from James chapter 5. Declare your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may find healing. The fervent petition of a holy man is powerful indeed. My brothers, the case may arise among you of someone straying from the truth and of another bringing him back. Remember this, the person who brings a sinner back from his way will save his soul from death and cancel a multitude of sins. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. It is far more important to love your neighbor as yourself than to offer sacrifice. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. It is far more important to love your neighbor as yourself than to offer sacrifice. The Lord Jesus sanctified his people with his blood. Let us cry out to him, Lord, have mercy on your people. Loving Redeemer, through your passion, teach us self-denial. Strengthen us against evil and adversity and increase our hope. And so make us ready to celebrate your resurrection. Lord, have mercy on your people. Grant that Christians as your prophets may make you known in every place and bear witness to you with living faith and hope and love. Lord, have mercy on your people. Give your strength to all in distress and help us to raise them up through our loving concern. Lord, have mercy on your people. Teach the faithful to see your passion in their sufferings and show to others your power to save. Lord, have mercy on your people. Author of life, remember those who have passed from this world. Grant them the glory of your risen life. Lord, have mercy on your people. Let us make our prayers and praise complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you gave us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.